Tonight in The Price of Freedom, we show you a different perspective of World War II. Josh Rowe has the story of a Navy veteran who traveled all over the South Pacific, but during battle, his view was from inside a Navy destroyer, the USS Waller. Josh. Kim Calvin, the USS Waller saw a lot of action in World War II. The Solomons Campaign, the Philippines, the Marianas. L.B. Smith was on the Waller from 1942 to early 1946. L.B. Smith grew up in Texas. My barber told me if I was going in, he says, get in the Navy. Because in the Navy, if you've got a bed, it's a dry bed. If you don't, you don't need one. So he says, you go in the Army, you may sleep in a foxhole somewhere. So I chose the Navy. He didn't sleep in a foxhole, but he saw plenty of fighting. When we were in battle at General Quarters, I was a hot shellman because I was from the engineering department. I was a hot shellman, number two of the five inch gun. I catch the shells as they come out of the gun and throw them out on the deck, get them out of the, out of the gun turret. Mr. Smith says he spent all the time in combat either in that gun turret or down below in the fire room. I didn't, couldn't see what was going on on the outside. I just didn't, I didn't know what was happening. I just knew something was going on. Right. And we just did our best to do whatever we could. The first combat he saw happened near Guadalcanal in January of 1943. And we went into battle, and the Chicago was torpedoed in that battle, and was the next day she was sunk. After the Chicago was hit, the Waller attempted to tow it to safety, but the Chicago was hit again from the sky by a Japanese fighter. We got credit for shooting down one plane in that, in that battle. And then we went in and we picked up survivors from the, from the Chicago. We took on some of the people that got off. The USS Waller saw more than two and a half years of fighting in World War II. The Waller received 12 battle stars for each battle the destroyer was involved in. We were one of the very fortunate ones because it tells you on that record there that all through the, the battle, everything that we went through, the ship went through, we would never experienced one fatality on the entire war. When the war finally ended, Mr. Smith was in the fire room. One of his buddies called him and told him, but he didn't believe him, and he hung up the phone. And I just picked it up real quick, and I said, what the hell do you want now? And this real deep voice come on, and he says, this is the captain speaking. And he says, we got word the war is over. We'd like to celebrate a little. Would you mind turning on the steam to the whistle of the siren. I said, aye, aye, sir. And I hung up the phone and I went flying up that ladder to t get up there to turn on the steam. So we had a celebration that night in the Manila Bay that the war was over. The war was over, but the USS Waller had more work to do. Mr. Smith and the rest of the crew escorted the USS Missouri into Tokyo Bay for Japan's official surrender. They also spent time in Shanghai in a minesweeping operation after the war. Mr. Smith came home in early 1946. He's been in this area for the last 17 years. Kim. Josh, thank you so much. Great story.